What's going on everybody? It's your girl Garuji Chastity and today I want to talk about a topic that may be a little touchy but since it's a little bit touchy for everybody here in the world today what I want to do is kind of look at the absolute truth, the relative truth, and how spiritual law coincides with both of those as it pertains to uncovering the Black Lives Matter agenda. So let's just jump right in, man. So the first thing that I really want us to look at is the absolute truth of the Black Lives Matter agenda. And from what I can understand, the Black Lives Matter agenda began with Trayvon Martin for the simple fact of stop killing black men or black young men in general, just black, black men in general. Stop killing the black masculine energy. That's the absolute truth of what Black Lives Matter stands for. But there's a relative truth. Relative truth being how it, it affects me and you, the everyday people, every, every everyday connecting people. How does that truth affect us? And what we have to look at is some of the information that Black Lives Matter themselves have put out about their organization. Now, you can go back and do your own research, as I always suggest that people do. Don't take anything anybody says at face value. Um, I'm not presenting the actual evidence of where I got this from, but this information did di come directly from the Black Lives Matter website. Um, and you can find places to look that up if you just go to Black Lives Matter website. <laughs> so, the relative truth, the underneath what the Black Lives Matter agenda and what they're saying is that they want to dismantle cisgender privilege and uplift black trans women. Now that's a bit confusing, I must say. Because the original agenda is stop killing black men, but the, 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 the group, the organization themselves are saying we want to dismember cisgender privilege and uplift black trans women. Now when we break this down, cisgender privilege is heterosexual men or anybody heterosexual. Dismantle cisgender privilege and uplift black trans women. A black trans woman is a man who thinks he's a woman or transforms himself into a woman. So on the outside, we're saying stop killing black men, but we're telling our actual people that we want to dismantle the power of the black man and in fact turn him into a woman. That's confusing. <laughs> Very confusing. So, what I want to break down is how to have critical thinking skills to even see what's going on before us by understanding spiritual laws. Now, we can't say that the absolute truth is not being upheld by the Black Lives Matter movement, but we can't also deny the fact that this relative truth that plays in a part. And we also must remember in a lot of black movements or organizations, they're, they're, they're always infiltrated. And I won't go through the history. You should do that yourself. But I'll definitely look up Eldris Cleaver straight up. Oh, Eldris Cleaver is, is a great example of like, yo, our people do that to us. Indeed, they do. So let's look at the confusing part that they're leaving out. Or if you don't already understand this about the universe and yourself, this is how you can get caught up in this confusing trap of this information. So what we want to begin to look at, this is existence or the beginning of existence here. We're going to have star seed. This is where you come into being per the universe. So the, these are the on this side these are the seven spiritual laws of the universe and these are the on this side is the seven spiritual laws of the universe man manifested in you as a human being so the first law of the universe is going to be mentalism which means the all is mental the universe is mental next is going to be correspondence okay correspondence which means there are things in this universe that appear to be different or opposites, but in fact, they are the same things. You know what I'm saying? So, for instance, let's, I mean, straight up for correspondence, we have as above, so below, and below as above, which means, oh man, as I want to begin to understand how this universe is created, let me look to see what's going on down here, and that might give me an idea about what's going, how we might say, up there in the spiritual realm. Next is gonna be by vibration. Everything is always moving. Nothing is at rest. Every, even this itself 
has vibration in it. It's just going slow enough to where we can see the density of it, but it's still moving. Polarity is going to be everything, like I was saying earlier, as same as correspondence. Everything has its opposites. It has its equal. But in polarity, what we see is that there's always truth, but there's always have truths, which means so for the same thing, polarity, we have hot and cold, but both are temperature. You see, that's a paradox. They're opposite poles. It's like extreme opposite poles of one of, of one thing. And then we have rhythm. Everything has an in and out, just like a pendulum. Everything about life has an in and out. Next, it's going to be cause and effect. There is no cause without an effect, and there is no effect without a cause. That means nothing in this universe happens by chance at all. Next, and finally, we're going to have gender. In the spiritual realm, gender is one. Gender is masculine and feminine as one. It is not divisible at all, which means there is the masculine principle and the feminine principle that works together to create one. In human form, that is just for instance, your own brain. You have a generator and you have an observer. observer. You have something in you that is generating thoughts, but you also have something in you that is observing those thoughts. The generator would be the masculine principle. The, the observer, observer would be the feminine principle. But within you, they create one element, which is the thought. So that's what's going on in the spiritual realm. And this is where it gets confusing with this information that they're putting out. For one, dismantle cisgender privilege and uplift black trans women. In the entirety of the idea of the LGBTQ community, this is where we fall short. If we have seven laws of the universe, gender is the last, but somehow they get us trapped in that, in the conversation, in the rhetoric of our movements, all kinds of things. So it's something about getting us caught in our lower states. And we see how the lower states down here, which is your, your uh, root so chakra, your sacral, and your solar plexus are flipped. So here in the spiritual realm, gender is seven, but in your body, it manifests as your crown chakra, but everything about your physicality represents your first three chakras. But what they do in the society is get you trapped in these first three chakras. So you're never able to hit four, five, six, and seven in the actual universe and in your physical body. And that's pretty trippy. So now we saw how you begin in the mind of the universe. You began in creation. And then the universe said, boom, here comes this star. And we're gonna drop this star down in every portion of how this universe is created. And then boom, you exist. I exist, we exist. Boom, we hit existence. And this is the greatest work to know this entirety here how i came in and i hit all of these points and now i exist now i have to make sure all of these points then resonate within me so i can bounce my ass back out of here and then become another star seed that's the important that's what we want to do but if i get us locked in language about what's going on here we will never get none of this and as you can see this looks way more magical as a quantum equation than this up here than this rhetoric through talk that they give you it, it, it ain't worth nothing it ain't worth nothing so let's see how all of these principles of the universe then met and manifest in you as a human so first we have the law of mentalism that meets with your root chakra you literally have to ground yourself in the concept that this is a mental illusion but this is real for me so am i grounded and do i feel safe if you can't grasp that concept you can't you can't get out of here boom number two the sacral chakra now this is where we get in it's it, it gets interesting because this is where people's energy of their physicality lies within your first and your second chakra it lies within these so if you begin to care about what your body looks like or how your what physical features, how can you adorn yourself? If you need to be a trans anything, you are stuck in these chakras because we know here, gender does not exist until we get to the crown chakra. So if you're down here worried about gender, that means you're, you're, you're stuck in your physical vessel. You only identify with being physical. 
which means we, we can't even get to the higher realms of thinking because you're locked down here about what you look like. If you know that gender is just the, is just the vehicle for it, existence, it won't matter what it looks like because I'm secure, I'm safe. All of those, I can identify this as just a physical vehicle and then I can move on to higher realms of thought. But no, not if I get trapped. So next is gonna be correspondence. As above, so below. The sacral chakra, okay? If you don't understand above, we can only under and assume that you don't understand below. So if your sexual energy and all of that lies down here in this chakra, but you don't understand how the universe and how that, or better yet, what, what that says for trans people or for me, the one of the things that confuse me, if you don't understand spiritual law, which is as above, so below, how can you say that what, what's happening for you down here in this below realm shouldn't be happening? Or that it was a, it, it was a mistake. A universe that set all these rules in motion for you has somehow dropped you down here in the wrong body. That's crazy. I It's a little weird. Next, we have vibration, which means that everything is in constant motion. This is your solar plexus, which is your power. If they take the power away from you by scaring you, by thinking you're gonna get killed, by if I get killed, the only other option for me is then to become a woman. That is fear. It removes your power. So they're locking all of us in this, in these first three lower dimensional chakras here. They're locking us in this. And, 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 and that's where critical thinking comes in. Because if you don't know the laws of the universe and you, if you don't know how these first three laws manifest in your body, you can definitely get trapped here. You can get trapped. So next, we're gonna have polarity. And this is where humanity starts, in the heart chakra. Because now, you start to see good and evil, light and dark. And you can begin to polarize yourself either to good or to bad, or you can find yourself in the middle where humanity lies. You see this line go straight across. This is a quantum equation that they don't want you to know about, but they want you to focus on the shit up here, okay? <laughs> Next, we have rhythm. And oh, you see, you keep getting juicy. Cause look at this, rhythm is your throat chakra. It's like, all right, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't work these lower chakras, met myself in the middle, now we finna get it popping. All right, I'm finna talk about it, I'm finna be about it, I'm finna say what I know, I'm finna, I'm finna get this rhythm going and I'm finna speak my truth in my mind after I done found humanity in my heart, okay? Next, we got cause and effect. Ooh, this keep getting juicy. Cause and effect. As we said, don't nothing happen by chance. And what does cause and effect go to? Your third eye. That's when you can begin to perceive stuff like, oh, yeah, I peeped that. I'm not my emotions. Cool, I don't gotta act on that. You acting ugly, I'm acting pretty. Let me go on about my business, honey. You see what I'm saying? They trying to lock us down here. And finally, it's gender. When you get to your crown chakra, that means you're not attached to nothing. Which means I could care less if I'm a trans. This vehicle don't got nothing to do with me. This vehicle is literally just that. It's a car. It's a car. It's just a vehicle for you to experience this existence. But if I can manipulate you out of fear to thinking there's something wrong with your car without you ever knowing how this car was made and how it got here and then how you drive that car, this is easy. Confusion is easy. And then you got people over here who are actually with us and trying to help black people. But then there's people over here who's like, nah, man, I can't get down with that. What's going on? And it creates confusion within the entire black diaspora in the first place. You see? So this is my take on uncovering the Black Lives Matter agenda. Now, this is some heavy information. So I'm gonna make more videos that specifically go over each side of this quantum equation, which determines your existence, which I have called the greatest work to know. I've literally began writing a book on this. This is gonna, the, this right here for me, I'm gonna live, I, I, I won't stop living. I won't die until I figure this out. This is a lot of information just in this entire concept, okay? So I'm gonna to begin to divulge all of this information video by video. And in fact, 
because of the Aquarian age that we're in, this evolution that we're in, I can, gosh, confidently say that my comprehension level is straight up through the roof. So everything that I read, I read, I'm able to, you know, convey the message and teach other people and really share that. And it's allowed me to see myself truly how I see myself in my super in my super conscious mind which that is I learn to live and it's simply that I learn in order to make a living in this universe so this is what I'm going to be doing from now on people we're going to have a lot more content a lot of videos every day this is going to be my full-time job learning and doing all of that I can to spread information to help other people nothing is going to make me feel happier or get me through my day besides doing this. So if you enjoy the content, if the content is helpful for you, I always ask just like it, subscribe to it, share it, and donate. You can donate at Cash App at Garuji Chastity. I'll put all this information, I'll continue to share, and I'll continue to post videos. This particular video was me uncovering the agenda behind Black Lives Matter using spiritual principles. And I will, as I said before, make more videos to go about the laws that govern the universe and how these laws that govern the universe then manifest in your body. That's going to be very important and that's going to be the main key to everything about the next two or three videos that I release as it pertains to Black Lives Matter and understanding the spiritual laws of the universe. Alright people, that's been my time. I hope you guys have enjoyed Garuji's room, man. I hope you have. <laughs> Check me next time.